what they tell you to do is like pretend you're gonna burp, oh, and I don't gosh. know how to burp, Tell and me. so I can't dive. Every time I go like ten feet down, I'm like, oh, my brain hurts. Rewind it six minutes and hold that up while you're watching. That'll probably <laughs> help. that'll probably help a little bit. That, I also look like I'm about to cry, and maybe yeah, I was. that's fine. Maybe, that's fine. Maybe it was a dual reaction. Back Why is he getting so mad? I don't, by I, first of all, he's very mad. Secondly, every single just, argument you've made it's has just been, a ridiculous thing. Trying to it tell is, me my arguments. Thing. Three, two, one. I know you see sometimes the world you can be so wonderful. Jason's Turns cringe. out the Jason's, filming was not wonderful. Jason's cringing back there. Oh, that's so You were going Nickelodeon? Also, wasn't that Disney? It was iCarly. I know, but what's it Nickelodeon. Oh, it's yeah, Nickelodeon? That's uh, Dan. Oh, you're right. That's Dan, Dan, it's Dan Moriarty or something? Oh. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, important whoa, whoa. Oh, important I'm mix sorry. up. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But I also, did, they don't say the one. But. I did want to be iCarly. What? I'm not her. <laughs> I kind of wanted to be more of a Freddy, but I guess now I'm more of an iCarly. You are iCarly. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. No, not really. I feel like you're more Carly and I'm more Sam. You're not Sam literally and at all. And then Jason's Freddy. No, no, no. And Jason's I'm Gibby. Gibby. Oh, wait. I want to be Gibby. No, yeah, no, no. No, Jason's, no, Jason's the producer. Jason's, Jason's Freddy be, and yeah. JT's Gibby. You're like a bad Spencer, I would feel like. Whoa! Well, Spencer, wait, 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 I change. I'm Spencer. No, you can't. Right, I Spencer. Spencer. You can't be Spencer. Also, what is, is I Carly in the news? I'm the, or irrespons- I'm the guy who's supposed to be an adult, but really just irresponsible. Not how you spell I Carly, by the way. Um, why, did you guys, why? The reboot was was I pretty was, terrible. I it was right. Really, I thought it was actually pretty good. I think it was just weird seeing them. Like you guys are like 35 now. We're still doing this. That's fucking... how they go. What? 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 As far as reboots go, though, it wasn't. Like awful, which is honestly just that's the bar to I th- hit. That that seventy show was, I thought that was bad. Yeah, that one, one was really reboot. bad. But that one was bad. Fuller House. Fuller House. I thought, I thought Fuller House good. was okay. Well, like it was is, the same thing. The thing is, Fuller House was okay, but then you look back and watch the real regular Full House, and you go, "Oh, this wasn't good either." Oh well, then <laughs> no, he's right. That means it's on par. It was. It, it did well then. That's that's true. So that seventy show is definitely bad. That one sucks. The, uh, Wet Hot American Summer reboot. No idea. I don't what even that know is. the original. That, a, that's a movie. Is that a porn? It's a, it's, it's a movie. It has a bunch of famous people: Paul Rudd, others, um, <laughs> a bunch. And then they made they made a TV show about it after the movie, but they're all like thirty years old, and they're supposed to be teenage summer camp the, counselors. The three people that have seen that show, comment down below, it's, please. It's a star-studded cast. Don't, 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 really don't, don't, like no, a... we're not wasting Jason power. No, 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 we're, we're not Jason wasting Jason, Jason power on that. Hot American Jason summer. has like four horsepower. We you'll, can't waste one of them. You'll know a lot of these people, I think. It doesn't really sound like a reboot, to be honest. It was a show that came from a movie. Yeah, but the movie got, was out in 2001. It's okay. a comedy romance. We're not gonna be able to, well. We got nothing here. Oh yeah, there's the character sure. Well, there's Paul Rudd. That doesn't. This isn't helping. I don't know who any of those people well, are. Nah, Where's is, even this, Paul Rudd? This is drawings. <laughs> I mean, is, this isn't yeah, gonna help you, anybody. <laughs> <laughs> this is not gonna help anybody. There's nobody on. There's nobody here. No, no, do, do that one. Just do the cast. Uh, maybe it's just Paul Rudd. It's just honestly. Paul Rudd and barely. I mean, it's very. You said much a Paul bunch. Rudd. You said a bunch of. Uh, oh, oh yeah. Oh, Bradley. Oh, Cooper. Amy Poehler. Amy Poehler. Bradley Cooper. Bradley Cooper. Oh, Ken Murray. Wait, that drawing did none of these people justice, by the no. way. None yeah. of them. And speaking of wet, hot American summer, um, even though JT said it's not summertime, it's severe not. sunburn immediately. That's yeah. true. Severe sunburn actually immediately. Actually, it's a spring burn because it's not summer oh, yet. Oh, here we go. Actually, I, I think, um, well, first of all, we talked about sunburn. Mm-hmm. And then I talked about how I cried because my sunburn was so bad. JT immediately that day goes outside, gets sun poisoning because well, he don't heed any warning. There's a bit more to the story. Don't I heed any warning. all the warnings. No there warnings were, were heeded. Yeah. There's one warning I missed. So what happened is uh, I actually I don't I'm in the same boat as Danny. I don't really like how sun bur- or sunscreen feels on me. I don't like it. I'm sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Danny got this cool new sunscreen that surfers use. It's made of zinc and doesn't have the harmful chemicals in it that are killing the coral reefs, mind you. This is what you they coral were, reef serial this, killer. This is what they were selling in Paraben the yard. Paraben free. Paraben free. Yeah, yeah. So, also, UV protection free. It seems like. Yeah, and well, you you put it on and you can feel it's almost like it feels like you're putting little minerals on or something because it's it's kind of dusty. It's not really oily. Mm-hmm. So I used it. Now, the mistake we think I may have made is that I went in the pool right after without letting it uh, Mm -hmm. settle. Mm -hmm. And what ended up happening is, Jason, please pull up a picture. Yeah, JT provided pictures. The next... (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. That's so bad, dude. Yeah. The next day, that's what I looked like. Oh, my God. show the other ones? Oh, my God. Yeah. 
See, I think that the first one he let off with is the most damning, that this zinc did not work at all. But do you guys see how my, like... Your upper eyelid is it was covering my eye. Yeah, it looks like you got stung by a bee or punched in the face. That I also look like I'm about to cry. And maybe yeah, I was. That's, maybe, that's fine. Maybe it was a dual reaction. That's maybe it, tough. Maybe it's like you are you are allergic to zinc in some way, and also <laughs> you went in the pool directly after well, applying maybe, sunscreen. Maybe, which, maybe. Which I mean, the pool is definitely why. If you look around, like your temples, there's like some white spots and some. Like, it's splotchy. Mm. That's a classic water sunburn. I think it's just because he has hair. No, and, no, and no. And he just does this. No, 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 no. That's a classic water sunburn. Yeah, I'm not really sure. I, I think allergies may have played into it. What, what's confusing, though, is that how did this happen, like, 24 hours later if it's allergies? Wouldn't it be a couple hours at most? I feel like it would be more immediate. I'll be I've honest, never seen such true. a delayed allergic reaction. It's not even that. I've never seen someone get sun poisoning kind of that fast. Like you weren't, it was like you flash burned. You weren't in the pool that long or barely outside. I feel No, like. dude, I was outside for an hour and then I came back outside later at like, you know, six or something. Like Double I came down. back outside when the sun was not at peak strength. I don't know what the hell happened. Never using zinc again. And I'm definitely going to be Applying double layers of the fucking oil that yeah, I hate. I think well, it's you have a fairly pale complexion. That's true. Fairly it was pale. like your first time out in the sun of the summer. That's not true. Ish. I mean, that's well. First of all, not even he summer. doesn't even think it's summer. It's yet. not even summer, so but, of course I mean, it's not true. I mean, we've been in the pool out there like three times prior to that. Yeah, but it was cloudy, overcast, kind of nice. Fucking actually, two times ago you went. Two times ago you went in at night, kind of. Bro, that wasn't my first time I'm at not, all. I'm I put not. sunscreen. I, also, I go for a run every day, and I put on sunscreen. That's what day. I was. That's what I was gonna say. No one, not no, every day. And then four times. No, a week. no one's. No one's saying your first time wasn't great. That's not what I'm saying. No one's saying that. I'm just saying this time you didn't use the proper protection and you paid the price. But it's confusing because I I do think that maybe it would it was an allergic reaction because I 100 percent believe if I went out with no sunscreen it would not have been that bad. I don't know what I I've gotten sunburns before, guys. I've gotten sun poisoning before. Yeah. On my back, mostly, not on my face. This I've never seen this happen to me. I, I, I know what everyone's going to say after I say this, but I feel like this is what you get when you try to use a Danny solution. <laughs> like this, this, is, this is a solution that works fine for me. It works and, no, no, I'm saying and, usually Danny and, solutions and work very many, well for Danny. And many other surfers and the entire state of Don't Hawaii. Don't say many other surfers like you surf, by I the way. I have surfed once. <laughs> It, it, sh it, it was it was shredded by nipples. I was like fucking putting my nipples to a cheese grater. But that's besides the point. It, it's it, it it is it, me and many other surfers trust zinc. Stop, uh, say, <laughs> stop saying that. Sorry, sorry. Many other surfers and I trust <laughs> zinc. That's more correct. Proper, proper, it. proper. He's been proper. using grammar. Yeah. Trust zinc to protect us from the harmful rays of the sun, while also protecting the wildlife in the ocean. You're doing a great job. Didn't go in the ocean, by the way. Did, wouldn't even have mattered. Didn't go in the ocean. It, but I'm just saying, zinc works. <laughs> so don't give me this Danny solution. It's not like I. It's 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 not like I whipped up like, oh, this is like a something I saw. You can make your own sunscreen with That's eggs and peanut butter, and you whip whip it up. Like this is a this is a product that was on a shelf that many people use, <laughs> and it works fine for me. I think I, the eggs and peanut like, butter would have worked better. I feel like First I'm, glow, all, I'm glowing. Peanut butter definitely would have worked better Way for JT. Well, peanut, peanut butter, well, creamy. It's the the thing is the oil might screw you there. Oh, like you start frying. Yeah. Well, basically. he kind of did fry already. I, did. I was fried. They do say that um, if you're ever in a survival situation, mud. Yeah. Use mud. To put yeah. it all over you. I think that makes sense that just because it just doesn't get through to your skin. It burns the mud, I guess. Yeah, and it gets all crusty too, so it'll stay on all day. Well, that sounds terrible. But what about your? Uh, Danny actually did try to invent his own sunscreen once. Well, what you do? Sunscreen and a pill. Yes. Oh, uh, well, I'm not doing this yeah, stupid yeah, yeah. sunscreen and a pill. I made the invention. I, I you well, didn't make it. Stop doing it. I invented sunscreen and a pill. You invented the idea. I invented it. the idea, and the scientists are still working on this. This the, we're gonna get off sunscreen in, in four words. It's like just apply the sunscreen. Why? Just put my the sunscreen, sunscreen. My on. sunscreen no, works. You're all right. Yeah, you're all right. I'm just saying. Also, him. also, once in twenty fucking years, while I have skin cancer, you'll have fucking weird sunscreen cancer because who knows what kind of chemicals and shit are inside there so you're getting this skin cancer anyway yeah but you're getting you could get 
all kinds of cancer, blood cancer, liver cancer. Well, well first of all, don't cancer. put that on me. Number Listen, one, because yeah. it's, it's, yeah, it's, 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 it's absorbing make it real. into don't your hex him. skin. Don't it's, make it real. These, these harmful chemicals are absorbing into your skin. If they're killing the coral reefs, what are they doing to your inside? First of all, I agree with this. coral reefs kind of a bitch. They kind of like oh, everything. So I agree with this. Everything hurts the yeah, coral. That's true. Everything they, hurts. Them. Oh, the, the, the water temperature is three degrees too high. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> my, my great barrier reef is gone. <laughs> it's not that great, then, is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I agree. Coral is a bitch, um, <laughs> but I also agree that we should save what we have left of it. I guess. Aren't they dropping subway cars into the ocean to make new coral reefs? Oh, I saw that. <laughs> I didn't know this. Yeah, you were about to make fun of me, bitch. Look up subway cars, coral reefs. Me and my dad had a forty-five minute argument about this. Did you know that coral reefs are actually animals? They're alive, right? Yeah. But fucking everything's well, alive, apparently. No, yeah, they're alive. No one's questioning that. But I, I think. That, you know, intuitively you'd think they're plants, right but they're animals. Right there. You don't have to click it. I just want to read that headline right there. 2,500 subway cars are used to create an artificial underwater. Fuck, there's not the rest, but I know I know what it says. Now, right. now this would be very cool. I wonder if people, there's definitely some YouTube channel that explores these subway, subway coral reef cars. So I guess this is part of, because they, they've been upgrading subway cars. This is what they do with the old ones. You don't got to open it, Jason. Oh. No, I want to see. This looks like. So they strip it all down. This looks like a, a 3D rendering. And this, and this is a bus. Is this just a 3D rendering of no, some... No, this is definitely real. What? Yeah, this is real. That doesn't look like... I that. think they just spray it with, like, white shit first so yeah. the coral can stick or whatever. And also, you're, you're talking about these beautiful places in the world. Everything looks like a 3D rendering because the light is so good. That's the true. water's so blue. That's true. But you know what's crazy when you really think about it? It's like... The world is so full of machines... That were like, oh, we have all these other machines. Let's just make coral reef machines with them. It's I so mean, weird. I, I'm super into the cross between, like, you know, the man made and the nature. Like, I would love to go diving in the train reef, well, the train barrier yes. reef. But, That'd be sick. I, I mean, it feels like a video game where, like, you're dystopian very far into the future and you have to go into an underwater mission. It's like, it's oh, exactly what it feels these like. are the subway cars from before. It's like, no, we're doing it to make the reefs, you know? That, But that's why it would look cool. It would it, look under- cool. Water city leftover remnants type situation. No. Nah. Shipwrecks, kind of. I'm sure they make coral reefs. Well, shipwrecks, big habitats. Sharks all around them. Finding Nemo. Oh, sharks yeah, all around yeah, them. Yeah, yeah. The, the, the fish love the shipwrecks. Would you ever go diving in a shipwreck? No. I, I can't dive. What? Uh, you, part of scuba. Part of uh, part of diving is you have to like, you have to like, I forget what it's called. You have to like decompress. Pop. You have to like decompress. And uh, it's basically that what they tell you to do is like pretend you're gonna burp, oh, and I don't gosh. know how to burp, don't and so I can't dive. Every time I go like ten feet down, I'm like, oh, my brain hurts. Yet again, Danny is limited by so his burps. inability to burp. Did, True. did you ever? Think- and, then, and, and then I went, you know what? Fuck it. Like I bet everybody's brain hurts when I'm when they're down here. So I tried to go really far down, didn't like it. And then somebody else who also tried to do that came back up, bursted a blood vessel in their eye. Oh, horrifying. Maybe they couldn't burp either. How far down did you go? I probably hit like 15 feet. That's a lot of feet. For someone, for to, just to go like going down, 15 feet off rip is tough. Well, there was a fish down there, and I went, oh, I want to see. I mean, do you have a uh, gear you're holding your breath? This was just a- No this, way. This was a, I, I believe it's called, technically it's snuba. Is that where you just have like three breaths? It's like a, it's like a, it's like a hose that goes all the way up to like a vacuum yeah, cleaner yeah, that yeah. floats on the surface. I've seen that. Wouldn't trust that. At Basically, all. there's a big raft at the surface and a tube connected to it, and you just breathe in and out into yeah. this raft. It's like a large scuba tube. Dude, we're scuba in tube. we're in 2024. We could be a little more advanced than a big straw. Scuba. I think. Yeah, I but think. then but if you actually want to go scuba diving, you gotta do all kind you gotta do like a training program and the, yeah, the popping a, and all the I don't want to do that. Anyway. Um also <laughs> also we're uh our hundredth Patreon episode, by the way, Ooh, yeah. True. it's coming up. Uh, Patreon.com slash Picky Boys. Get in there. Also, because the Moms podcast is coming up, we're at seven hundred and like thirty. If we get to eight hundred, I'm already talking with a bunch of D1 and NH, NH hockey players to hit pucks at Danny. Yeah. We got a couple in the works. Get in there, and I think we're doing a hundred Jello shots. Yeah. For the hundredth episode, so we can't leave. Not until... this week, but next week we'll do it. Yeah, not this week. Next week, we can't leave until. 100 jello shots are finished. So that podcast is going to get progressively worse as we go. Or better. A lot of slurping. All right, JT. uh, I mean, all right, Jason, I I brought something. I brought brought a question here. Oh, we all have questions today. I got questions too. Do the other one. The other one's better. 
That's fine. Oh, I've this seen one looks this. Better. Love this. All right. So apparently, with this picture on the screen, any single food that you can mm-hmm. name will fit into one of these categories. Mm-hmm. Any food you can name. JT, name a food. Cereal. Cereal. I think that would be a. That would be salad. Don't tell or me. That'd be salad or nachos. Come on. What are we doing? Cereal here? would be salad or nachos. Cereal salad definitely works for cereal. I think. I, but first of all, nachos so specific. I don't know why that's. Its I own. think it's. I think it's just to fit like. So if, if I say mac and cheese, that could fit in salad or nachos. I, I I'm not convinced that anything without a you know bread container is salad or nachos. I'm not convinced. Well, I mean, also, pe- what is toast with jam side yeah. down? What? I don't. <laughs> I don't I, is that a category? I don't know with toast with jam side down is, but I remember like a popular one was pizza, and pizza would be. Toast. 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 So pizza is toast. I see that. It's cheese. It's cheesy marinara toast. Yeah. Yeah. What is a toast with jam side down? What is that? The, they're saying that you put fucking no, I know, jam on it. I know, that, no, I know so. but what is the... I don't know. What is try anything with like a bread? No, no. We know what, what it is, Jason. I'm saying like right, what is so, the... Uh, uh, mac and cheese with bread on top, right? Oh. Baked up. Uh, Big crispy bread on top. That oh, would be toast okay. with jam. Okay, like a like a uh, like a sh- oh, like a shepherd's pie, perhaps. A shepherd's, shepherd's pie, pie might be toast with the jam upside down. To be honest, yep, this... yep, yep. Wait, but wouldn't a pie be a calzone? Be, yeah, but not a shepherd's pie. Not, not a shepherd's, shepherd's pie because shepherd's pie is a little top. wet. Shepherd's pie doesn't have anything on the. It's just meat and then mm-hmm. potatoes on top. So obviously, a burger is a sandwich, which is f- totally fair. The question is: Is a wrap sushi or a qu- quish? Quite quish. Quiche. Oh, that's a quiche. Yeah. Oh, I fucked that a up. Quish. Wait, is the quiche? Um, that's an open top. Right? Open top. Okay. So a bread bowl, but big bread bowl. Closed. Yeah, like a bread bowl. Cake and a triple decker sandwich. That's true. Any any. So now any double decker, triple decker sandwich, whatever, is a cake. Is a cake. True. And any lasagna is a cake. Any lasagna, definitely a cake. Ta- Ta- this I- this would classify. Listen, I know it's a big debate. That is a hot dog a sandwich thing. This classifies hot dog as a taco. It depends how you eat the hot dog. Because the hot dog could be like, do you keep? I see some people that don't keep it attached. The bread. I don't know. You Wait, have to what? Keep it they split it down the middle. No, like it's like that. You know. But you're saying they they cut the hot dog bread and then they make it into a sandwich. Yeah. Yeah. Because it already kind of has, it kind of already has a butt. I've seen that. Thank I've never you. seen anyone separate. Yeah, me neither. But I take but like two and I would I would agree though. Hot dog in this scenario, unbelievably a taco, and burger is a sandwich, and sandwich would also be a sandwich here. Sushi, that's an interesting one. It's like wrapped things, I guess. Yeah, so, a wrap. So honestly, like a uh, yeah, like, like a mini hot dog would be a sushi in this situation. A mini hot dog is a sushi, but that makes sense to me. Or a taquito would be a sushi. Taquito is a sushi. Uh, what's a hot pocket? A calzone? Oh no, sorry. Uh, uh, mm. No, no. So uh, what's it called? Toast pizza roll. A pizza roll would be a calzone. Yeah, yeah. pizza roll is a calzone. All, all these categories are like you know, kind of broad and and make sense for the most part. The toast with jam side down is such a like a schizo specific category. I, it's still getting that's it. right. I the, the when I showed Jason this picture, the first thing he said when I said name any food, he said come, and then I <laughs> and then I would say that is either salad or nachos. Yeah, for sure. So come if you everyone who eats come out there, you might as well eat salad or nachos. Same thing. I like this 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 matrix food matrix. I guess you know if you go broad enough, it does fit anything. There has to be something that doesn't fit. So a soup. What about soup actually? Salad or nachos? That's see. I don't know if I. I, just I said spaghetti. Spaghetti would be salad or nachos. I mean, it it is. It's not fair that they have the, one the, that just is oh the anything. Thing, the thing is, like, it does make sense. Like, if you think about, you go from a salad, and then you go to. A pasta salad, which is just like salad with like Italian dressing and all pasta, you know. And then that is not far off from spaghetti with meat with like red sauce. Like it doesn't make sense. They're all salads, really. They're just pasta salads. It could be nachos. No, I mean nachos is I don't even know why it's on there. Okay. I, like, I like the okay. other one more. Okay. It's just called a salad. Okay, question for you. What's a ravioli? Because I would say it's a calzone. Oh, of course it's a calzone. They but why isn't many- it but why isn't it salad? Because it has a thing around it. But you put everything in a big bowl? That's a salad. So wait, if I eat one ravioli, that's I'm a calzone. a calzone. But if I eat a yeah. lot of them, it's I'm a salad. A salad. It's not well, multiple it's calzones. A, it would be a it would be a calzone salad. That's so now now one. now we're combining them. <laughs> oh, I mean, you can certainly combine them, right? Oh, I don't know if I like that answer, but it sounds correct. You know? Yeah. So rav- I just I don't like putting 
I don't like that to, a sandwich on a sandwich becomes a cake. I'm not. I can't jive with that. Well, not, no, 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 no. It's not a sandwich on a sandwich because that would be four four layers. A, it's All right, sandwich one layer, one bread removed. Sa- no, a sandwich with an extra piece of bread. But exactly. So you put a sandwich on a sandwich. There's one less piece of bread because that's what. Isn't they do. it easier just to put they the do. other piece of bread in the sandwich instead but of two sandwiches and whatever. removing a bread? They don't miss the point. <laughs> they do that at like Burger King and shit, right? They have like a sandwich that is, yes, double. That's a cake. That's not a cake. I can't. I can't <laughs> jive with that. I'm sorry. It's, it's we, we need to rework that so category. A McDonald's Big Mac. That's a cake. The Big Mac has a. It has a piece of bread. I think. Yeah. I haven't had. I've never had one. The thing is that's crazy. The thing is, I don't like the pickles. And basically, stuff. Every, once you start eating a calzone, it now becomes a quiche. Mm. Like if I if I took a bite of you a eat burrito, the calzone from the top. No, uh, imagine a, a burrito. That would be a calzone in this situation. A if I yeah. if I ate two t- the two bites of that burrito, now That's it's a quiche. Yeah, you're you're looking at it two uh two dimensionally. If you look at it three dimensionally, mm-hmm, you could mm-hmm. you rotation. could flip you could rotation yeah. any side. The thing that I think it starts to I mean I know if this would technically be classified as a salad, but if you just have like a bowl of vanilla ice cream. Just straight up that. <laughs> like, that salad. is inherently not a salad because it's not a mixture of anything. He's right. Well, I mean, there's vanilla bean in there. There's some cream in there. Mm. There's some milk in there, kind of. Yeah, it's all homogenous now. Yeah. Don't throw it's big one words thing. at me. I, thought- I, I, I think also, back to Danny's point, I think that I don't think the food changes as you eat it. I think whatever you're eating, mm-hmm. you have to view it from what did it start as. That's fair. And also, I would think an, a, a cereal or, like you said, ice cream in a bowl would just be a quiche. It's just the it's just inedible. The bowl, the bowl part. Well, no, no, no. All, Why not? Of, all of the green parts are edible here. <laughs> there is nothing to. Then why would a salad not be a quiche? It's in a bowl too. That's what I'm saying. I don't know. Well, well, first of all, nachos could be on a the plate. green. Nachos could be on a plate. The the green salad could be on a plate. The green in almost all of these situations. Is some kind of carb or mm. carb adjacent? Carb adjacent. I think they're all. It is essentially all carbs, actually. Except for sushi. Which that's, that's rice. That's rice. That's no, what they're saying. But the seaweed. outside would be seaweed. Uh, eh. It's honestly, eh. it's just a wrapping. It doesn't have to nest. It's probably ninety nine percent of the time a carb. Yeah. But I'd say any kind of wrapping holding it together. Question is what this is. Question. Now is a two layered cake a sandwich? But who? Oh, okay. Yeah, no, he's right, because not every cake has fucking three layers. Like uh, That's and... true. If if I started eating cake, and I ca- like if Danny ca- if Danny came downstairs, this is this is what why we know. If Danny came downstairs having a piece of cake and it was two layers, and we were talking, and I was like, Oh, how's your cake? He was like, No, no, this is a sandwich. Then we'd start fighting. You know what yeah. I mean? So that's where the yeah. starts yes. the, starts not not, not, not left not, hook. Not fists, maybe pieces of thrown cake or smushed cake. And that's where this starts to devolve. That's I, oh here I, we and, here we go. Wait, what is a what is a cupcake? Toast with no toast. Cupcakes toast, right? I, I don't know about because, that. Because because it's a full piece of dough and the icing on top. It's toast. Mm. Cupcake also, is if, toast. If, if we're mm. if we are saying that you have to rotate this and, and view this in three dimensional space, toast and toast jam side down are the exact same fucking thing. That's fair. Yeah, that's a fair thing. That's a fair thing. Yeah, but you can't say that because first of all, explaining toast with jam side down is already confusing. You got to explain it the other way. I think you could classify a cupcake as a quiche. Because of the no, but the casing's in, inedible, so well, it's not fair. You're going against your own logic that you had two again, seconds again, ago. We're not talking about the casing. I'm talking about the cake. In this case, is the quiche part, and then the topping. The but it's just on top. It's no, not bro, like it's a whole also, one piece. Also, every every really good cupcake has a little bit of filling in the center, so it's not oh, dry. That that would be a see. But now, then that's a quiche. That's, that's a different a kind cupcake. of cupcake. Yeah, but that's not an open top. One. Question. That's a calzone. Question. Now. Question. TV timeout. Question. Is donut sushi then? Oh, a donut is sushi. Is it donut sushi? Yeah, donut yeah. is sushi. It would have to be. It would have to be. Wow. Look at this. Unless it's a Boston cream, of course. Unless it's a Boston cream, then it'd be a cow's <laughs> <laughs> Huh. That's funny. All right. All right. I, we've probably. The, the, Our need to classify things is a strange yeah, human uh, Yeah, yeah. Also, the, the audio listeners are probably confused. There's a picture about different ways to hold food, essentially. Probably should have explained that. <laughs> I mean, what were we gonna? We going to go through it. Just come, 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 watch, come look at. Just it. look up the cube rule of food. Oh, see my that's face actually too. probably should have said that first. That makes yes, sense. The cube rule of food identification. The cube rule of food. Actually, rewind it six minutes and hold that up while you're watching. That'll probably <laughs> help. that'll probably help a little bit. What is up, everybody? New summer picky merch is coming next week. 
which means you have one more week left to buy anything that you like from the previous drop, like our spring collection, our Mickey boat collection, and Time Flies merch. So if you want any of that merch, go get it within the week because new Picky Boys summer merch is coming, pickyboys.com, and that's it. Let's get back into the pod. I have a question I saw on TikTok. All right, we'll end on Danny's TikTok question. Uh, I never, I never bookmarked the right things. Whatever, I think I can remember it. Oh, it was Tommy Smokes from Barstool. Here we go. And he asks, at what point would, at what point in history would the richest person in the world have a worse life than you? So, you know, 1970, the, that, that person still has, you know, billions of dollars. Their life is better. If we start going further, 1700, Probably still cool. Probably better. Maybe on the oh, line there. Nope. No. <laughs> the richest person in the world, the king no. of England. Dude, he puts everything in terms of video game and electronics. You can't yeah. do that. What are you gonna do in the year seventeen hundred with your billions of dollars? You, you, could, you, could, you could live. You, life. Literally, you can. Literally, <laughs> you can literally do whatever you want. Yeah, but what? What, do you, bro? If you want to go on vacation, you need to take a, a six week expedition across the suck. ocean and in a fucking sleep in, in fucking horrible conditions. They can't. They don't even have food like refrigeration or anything. So you're gonna be eating like dry pieces of carbs that they. That's what they use for ocean expeditions. It's horrible. No, no, absolutely not. And you can't say like last year. It has to go without. Of course, like, of course. Out of the frame of I your think, time span. I think it's somewhere in the 1900s. I, I think it's that. somewhere in the yeah. 1900s as well. Oh my god, that's crazy! And if it's and if it's not point. the 1900s, I'm just going to Egypt. Like, I mean, billionaire pharaoh kind of stuff. I'll just do that. Y- they had some cool things. Wait, yeah. So, but that that you're saying now it's really far back. No, I'm saying if if I if you're saying it flips back I'm say, the other I, way. I'm saying I would either do 1900s as close to modern as I could get outside of my lifespan, where it's a fair answer. Well, and, it's it's not. And about, if not, I'd go straight to Egypt. It's like, not about pharaoh. What, it's not king. about what you would pick. Like where you want to be. It's about which. When does it stop being better? Well, the actual question was where, what you would pick. But I didn't know if you actually wanted to go off his question or what you just. When, asked. when would it stop? I, I thought the question was when would it stop being better. No, it's like when would you choose? Like what? what no, no, what it was time? it was when would it stop being better? When would it stop? That's being what, better? that's what he asked. Yeah, but that wasn't the question. That, that's what not the question, Tommy. Never mind, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. He, that's he, definitely he, the question. He, he phrased asked, the question but... wrong, but it's, it doesn't matter. So when would it? Oh, then when would it stop being better? 18 or 1700s. First, they didn't have fucking dentists first of all, or fucking, medical. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. If you're talking about that, it stops 30 years. Like, every year that goes on, it stops, kind of. I guess it also depends. Everybody's answer is different depending on what your life is like right now. But there's a lot. Even, even without our modern technologies and all of these things, again, the fucking king of England has lived a great life for hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years. Relative to his people at the time. Relative to a lot of people's lives right now. I don't think so. I think to so. a lot of people's lives, yeah, for sure. To a lot of people's problem, like for sure. Yeah, not everybody. Not of course so. not. Like Danny's- the fucking physical ailments that must plague everyone. Like, bro, fucking. All right, if you're saying 1700s, right? George Washington. That's 1776, bro. The motherfucker had ivory teeth because all of his teeth probably just fucking yeah, fell he, out. He from wasn't. His he wasn't a billionaire or like the bro, richest was, person on the planet. He's he not was, the richest person. He on was the planet just. At he was just time. a general and a and the president. That's Again, barely anything. Uh, first of all, not barely anything, and secondly, yeah. For, yeah. What, like I don't think the there's a there's a a, a law of uh, diminishing returns here. The person who was mega rich versus the richest person on earth, not that big a difference in oh, fucking seventeen hundred. Oh, bro, I think I think. I think the Revolutionary War, George Washington was fighting against what they perceived as the mega rich. Do you not rich. think the king also had fucking ivory teeth? He probably did too. Def- uh, don't de- forget George Washington. Definitely not compared to George Washington. Also, saying just because he was he was a general for a bunch of like- Pre- The president. No, just because he had that word. He was the first president after a long war. They the fucking, what, did that, what does that matter? He was definitely extremely rich. I don't think you're. I, I don't, don't think you're but, right. But not but the also, richest. Not even close to the richest person. Well, we'll look up the rich. Now, now, now we got to look up the richest. Richest, what, person, richest man, richest person on earth, 1776. Also, wasn't that like oh, Carnegie? Oh, I'm pretty sure, I'm what year sure, was I'm Carnegie? Sure one of the, that's the 1900s or 1800s? Yeah, that's 1800s. That's like uh, being I'm, I'm pretty sure one of the founding fathers was 17, 17, 17, 1770, 1770s, whatever, 17. Yeah. All right, no. Benjamin Franklin. Franklin. Boom. That's what I was saying. I was, I was saying, I'm pretty sure one of the founding fathers was one of the richest that's people That's richest Earth. Americans in history. We don't want that. We just want pictures and hurt. Richest person There were some founding history. fathers with ridiculous amounts of wealth. 
People that would that they do, s- do that richest pe- people. And by also, centuries. it's not hard to be the richest American in 1785. There was it there's only, there's it, only like there's seven of them. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, America had been around for a while before 76. We're just colonies. yeah, but we were getting we were getting the shit kicked out of us. We're only 13. A, we're only, we're, 13, the shit we're only 13 states. We were getting oppressed and taxed, JT. We were getting taxed one percent. Yeah, but that's a lot back then. <laughs> no, it's not. I mean, so. Go, keep, no, for, ex- up, up, for example, up, 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 I mean, up, up, up. absolutely, John D. Rockefeller life way better for sure. Yeah, that's 20th century. Yeah, 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 yeah. that's 19th. The Roth, the Rothschilds. I think you could still argue far better than and than than any of our uh, lives. Oh man, I disagree. It's a, that's a, a 19th century, 1800s. Yeah. I'd rather, I'd much rather be me right now, brother. The guy from the 1700s. I can't. I'm not going to try to pronounce that. I'm sorry, <laughs> but 19 billion, and he was 10 times more rich than Louis the fucking. 14th of France. Uh, that guy probably lived a hell of life, dude. But there is such diminishing returns. Guys, without fucking technology. This, it's not this about shit. that, but like there are some times where like a, he can't. like but but like 10 years with that money is worth like 40 years somewhere else with whatever you're talking about. He can't cross the ocean faster than someone with 1 billion dollars just cuz he has 20 of them. Like there's diminishing returns. He, he became eight, he was living. And he was eighty eight. It's pretty good. And he was eighty eight. I didn't say he died early. You're, you're, what are these points? You're, you're, no, because you're, you're like, oh, the wooden teeth. Oh, a bum leg. Oh, a, a tick bit his fucking ass cheek. Definitely had all three of those. The, the, the way the he way you're, was the way more you're, healthy than you are right now. The way you're sounding that's makes it seem like true. makes it seem like people did not live happy, fantastic lives it's before it's technology Also, I don't existed. know. If, I don't that's what it, it sounds like I'm getting saying, straw man hard. That's every, what it sounds like point, you're saying. Every point they've had is something I didn't fucking I also say. don't know if this guy was a terrible person. We're saying we want to be him. I don't know. I'm, I'm just saying the, 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 like, the, to quantify a great life, crossing an ocean doesn't need to be on that list. <laughs> yeah. <That's laughs> like, like, like that, I'm, like, I'm you can it, just I'm, have a great I'm life in using, your mansion. I'm, I didn't say that either. I'm just saying I'm using it as a measuring point for how a lot of money doesn't make things a lot of things easier you're, back then. You're actually that's what you're I'm actually wrong because a lot of money makes everything easier at any point. If I if you had 19 billion dollars back then, you can yeah, it might take two months to get to the island, but you could also spend 17 billion Thank you. building your own city and ha- doing whatever you want and sh- importing and exporting. Building it with the methods and, and materials and everything they had the back then. You're building your own, won't be fucking air conditioned. They, they figure it out. No, they won't. They figure it out. No, I have won't. $19 billion. That I'll is my figure point. it out. And you put a bath in there and then the, the water in the air. Yeah, the Roman, figure, the Romans figured figure this out. out. The Romans, the Romans figured have this out. concrete that fixes itself. I'm sure we could have put some kind of central air in the place. JT, Jason's telling us to wrap up. I don't know. I'm not saying I would pick it. I'm just saying I this think This guy you're, was like 1600s. He said he died in 1707. You're picking that? He lived to 88. He, took the, he lived to 88. Just from an objective standpoint, though, I think you're you're doing too much of a one to one in technology's sake. Like First this all, you person, you can't just say a point, and say from an objective standpoint <laughs> to try to make no, yourself right. No, That's no, not how it no. Works. But I'm saying from an objective standpoint, was this person's life better than yours? No. I think yes. No, I think and yes. Also, you're taking something that is totally subjective and saying from an objective I, standpoint. I don't think it so. Somebody, somebody who plays video games and eats burrito bowls versus somebody who has had, who has a fucking palace of Versailles. First of all, that is objectively all, a first, worse whoa, life. Now I got to flip. It is. Now, it is. Now, now I got to flip. It's objectively a worse life. Now I got to flip because this is, you're getting, first of all, relax. It is. Also, also, literally, like, at the end of the day, JT has a fucking... A, a magic box that can get him anything exactly. he wants. Exactly, I have the, I have any, the in- any information he wants. He he is smarter and mo- probably more. Uh, I have the I have the entire human wealth of knowledge of every human ever at my fingertips. And that's, so that's does a, and so does everybody else. So are all of our lives better? That's what he yeah. said. That makes that doesn't <laughs> make sense. That was my no, exact point. That's 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 that is that's, that's, a, my... that's an awful take. It's an awful take. It's not a good. Take. So everybody else's life who has access to the internet is better. Not than everybody. A, but they have access to their magic uh, box. Every, 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 everyone, <laughs> I said so, box. So, I'm every, so everyone in my position. Yes, there are people out there right now starving. Yeah. You fucking no, Danny. I'm not trying to make that argument. Like what? <laughs> every, every Well, obviously how, he's not how, trying. How, obviously, we well, I know. Wait, wait, wait. Can we go back? Why to is he getting so mad? I don't, by I, first of all, he's very mad. Secondly, every single was, argument you've made. It's has just been, a ridiculous thing. Trying to it tell is, me it is my arguments. Thing. It is a that has thing. been my that every every single argument has been you trying but, to tell me my well, argument. Maybe that's because you haven't cla- clearly stated what your argument even is. Well, but obviously he's not saying the people that are like 
no, 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 worse. no, of, of, yeah. wouldn't no, be better no, off. No, the guy no, dying of cancer no, right now. Of course, of course not. Better. But yeah. what, but what I'm saying is that if you're using this magic box as your sticking point, <laughs> it box. is one of many things. You use the Palace of Versailles. What about he had cancer in 1700s? Does that make his life better when he, he was going to die tomorrow from cancer because he had the Palace of Versailles? Probably, yeah. Wait, That's who, who had cancer? And also, I'm saying, I'm saying, it, that guy lived to I'm, I'm saying you can pinpoint. I'm just bringing up a point, and you're saying, well, what if the person with the phone's dying? Well, yeah, you well, fucking yeah, it's no a bad. Shit. Yeah, your your point, point. Your, your point is uh, uh, so. uh, again. I'm I, I wasn't trying to do that. I'm just saying that is one of your main sticking points, and I just don't think that that. Danny, I, I don't I, think the internet makes people's right, me, lives better. Can I finish? Your, I don't no. think the internet. <laughs> no, because your point's are stupid. You're, you're making a great podcast here. <laughs> I don't think Danny, I, you're the one. That's <laughs> yeah, yeah. Very, very aggressive. That's crazy. Very aggressive. This is crazy. You're the one who came out super aggressive. Also, but, so, but the, the reality of it is, if if the guy from the late 1600s had 19 billion dollars and lived to 88, he is way better off than you are giving them credit for back then, for sure. You agreed. You said you wouldn't want that. 1600s sounds terrible. But um, the, what I said is still my, Again, what I'm saying is still like I you're given, giving. Like, I haven't given anyone credit for anything. I haven't quantified anything. I said mine was better. I didn't say by how much. That's it. Well, that's lame. That's yeah. lame. You, you, again, you guys have both You guys have both put words in my mouth again. I didn't say anything. Because you're not saying any you words. Said I didn't. You're not, because you guys you're not saying any words. Time. Well, don't say you guys now because I feel like no, I've chimed in properly here. No, because you, dude, you just said, you just said, oh, you, you're not giving them enough credit. Oh, I, I agree with that. I possibly know that? I didn't quantify it. I didn't say how much better. So how could I not give him enough credit? Well, then quantify it. On a point you agree with. I don't, I don't fucking have the answer because I'm not bullshitting like you. Well, that's been obvious the whole, the whole time. <laughs> Scott, it's what we, we got. This. All right, let's wrap it up here. <laughs> let's wrap it up. He got so mad. He got very well, mad. He got so mad. This is the most like, no, no, I don't know. I'm, I don't know the answer. Like, dumbass Danny, point I've ever heard. Danny, It Danny, truly is. Danny, let's understand? wrap it up. Where can they find you, JT, except for living your awesome life? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you so mad? I don't mad? know. He's very mad. <laughs> Danny, you know, mad. Danny, so when most people go. Keep don't... going. Keep going. Why is he so mad? Danny, when most people... Because I want to stop it. Danny, when I most want to stop it. I want to stop it. He turned into a book. Because I want to stop it. I want to stop it. fucking diva. <laughs> Danny, yeah. You know, when most people don't have an answer, they say they don't know. I know what you do is you make up one. It's called Danny. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what, that was an awesome point, bro. <laughs> very awesome. Did you cook it the? Was true. Did you cook the yeah, popcorn? Very awesome. Did you cook the popcorn, or because I, I would love. I'm, I, I feel like sometimes I get lost <laughs> back crazy. here, and they just get into like their. They need a room marital spouts. Yeah, like move they, up the chair. They want to kiss what, for 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 hands for hands to be swung. Danny's Danny's. Did you eat today? No. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> JT, tell me. <laughs> you can find me on Instagram at the J Balls. You can find me at Danny is watching on Instagram. Also, this is bleeding over into the Patreon. Get in there. Patreon.com slash Picky Boys. You can true. find me at Aunt Prisco. Can't forget to follow. Picky Boys. The Picky Boys on all the platforms. Not all of them. <laughs> Most of them. <laughs>